The first thing, if we look at like oxygen tubing, so oxygen tubing, uh, you probably dispose of every week or so. If it's soiled, you replace it. Well, if at the end of a week you look at it and you can see it is not soiled, it's not broken, there is nothing wrong with it, that you are um, able to continue its use, just extend its lifetime. Okay, you do not need to replace it. If it becomes soiled, then we uh, want to clean it. Right? So what we want to do in that circumstance is to um, just take a couple of, uh, of different containers. These are just containers that I happen to have here. And then um, the first bin we're going to fill with just soapy water. So then we take our, our oxygen tubing and we immerse. And we're, I'm just um, sliding it around within the, the water to make sure that, uh, that both the outside and the inside are um, immersed in the soapy water, okay? If we have nasal cannula that are um, also soiled, the most common place for the soiling to occur is back here on the prongs. If they are soiled, then um, you're going to want to immerse, but pay, pay careful attention to this area. They're very soft, they're easily damaged, but just gently um, kind of scrub them just using your, your gloved hand uh, in the water to just try and loosen any soiled material and then do the same. Put the entire cord in and just uh, uh, swoosh it back and forth. We're going to leave it there for about 10 minutes and uh, to soak and then we will come back and, uh, and rinse it. And uh, we're now going to make sure that the soiled areas have, have in fact been cleaned and visually inspect, everything looks good. So I'm going to put it into the rinse water and um, just swoosh it around, same thing. We're trying to get now all of the soapy water removed from, from our line before we dry it. So we've got the nasal cannula, now I'm just doing the oxygen line, uh, visually ensuring that yeah, all the soiling is gone. And then the same thing, just Make sure you swoosh it around in the water to get the soapy water out, replace it with clean water, and again, just soak it for a few minutes. Our 10 minutes have passed, and we are back. We uh, can take it out and dry it on a nice dry towel. That is an option. You may want to just connect it. This is an oxygen line. You guys know how to connect it to your oxygen source, whether it's a tank, whether it's liquid, whether it's an oxygen concentrator. Just put a little burst of air through it. If you run uh, five, five liters through there for 10 seconds, you're, you're going to use a half a liter of air, but you'll rapidly dry it out. And uh, same thing with your nasal cannula. So just a little burst of gas through will help to, uh, to alleviate uh, water in the line. Some people will just line it up on the towel and allow it to dry, and that is an acceptable pattern, okay? We also could use um, a hanger, and again, some will just drape it over the hanger and then hang in a non, um, you know, away from the bathroom, uh, like over a living room jam, uh, something like that, and just allow gravity to help with the drying process. Another way to do it would be to use a clip like maybe uh, one of those clips that people have for a chip bag or something else and to attach this to the hanger and then allow gravity to aid us um, by uh, hanging this from a door jam, making sure this doesn't touch the floor. Remember, we just nicely cleaned it. But once it is dry, you can insert this into a Ziploc container. You could put it into a Tupperware container with a lid and seal it and it's now ready for use when required.